A series of lectures by Professor George Phillies, based on his book, Phenomenology of Polymer Solution Dynamics, Cambridge University Press, 2011. And stand by for our forthcoming lecture series, Statistical Mechanics, Introduction to Mechanics, Harmonic Oscillation, and Game Design based on Chapter 5, Solvent Dynamics. This chapter considers the motion of small molecules through viscous and polymer solutions. We start by considering small molecule translational motion and mesoparticle translational motion through viscous solutions where the viscosity is due to small molecules being viscous. We then turn to small molecule rotation we finally consider evidence that polymer molecules perturb the motion of nearby solvent molecules. We begin by considering small molecule translation in less and more viscous solvents. We can do this by studying the diffusion or the conductivity of small molecules or ions through various liquids. There's a rather consistent phenomenology. If the solvent viscosity is less than about 5 centipoise, both the diffusion coefficient and the conductivity scale inversely as the viscosity to the first power. If the viscosity is greater than about 5 centipoise, the viscosity dependence changes, the diffusion coefficient and the conductivity scale inversely as the viscosity to about the two-thirds power. Presumably, there is a material dependence on the crossover, but in the systems that have been studied, the material dependence is not very pronounced. You can also look at the diffusion of larger mesoscopic particles in viscous, more or less viscous solvents. This topic has been beaten to death for the study of polystyrene spheres and water glycerol, where very consistently, in almost all reported cases, the diffusion coefficient scales as t over eta to the first power. It is also possible to study the translational diffusion coefficient of the solvent molecules through polymer solutions. One finds that the diffusion coefficient is much larger than would have been expected from the viscosity of the polymer solution, that is, d eta can be greater than 1, or even perhaps much greater than 1. Here, for the first time, we encounter a crossover in the concentration dependence of the solvent self-diffusion coefficient. At lower polymer concentrations, less than 400 grams per liter, of course, that's really a quite concentrated polymer solution, the diffusion coefficient is a simple exponential in polymer concentration. In the very same system studied by the same authors using the same techniques, at higher polymer concentrations there is a crossover and the solvent self-diffusion coefficient now follows a stretched exponential in the polymer concentration. This is all in the same system, the same authors, the same instruments, so that is very definitely a very real and quite unmistakable crossover. We now come to the effect of adding a polymer to an extremely viscous solvent, namely Aerochlor 1248. On adding the polymer, well, it depends which polymer you add. The diffusion coefficient of the solvent molecules may decrease, it may remain the same, or it may even increase, that is, the added polymer may act as a plasticizer for the polymer solvent. We now come to the study of solvent probe rotation. A variety of methods, light scattering, NMR, flow by refringence, allow one to study how rapidly solvent molecules rotate in polymer solutions. If you have enough t range of times in your experimental method, you actually find that there are two relaxational modes. There is a fast mode which appears to correspond to solvent molecules that are not close to any polymers, and there is a slow mode that becomes more important and slower as the polymer concentration increases that appears to correspond to solvent molecules that are near polymer chains. A very clever set of experiments by Cron and Lodge, the full reference and all of the other references are of course in the book, using block copolymers 
gives a reasonable estimate of the range of the polymer effect, namely the range of the polymer effect, appears to be one or two solvent diameters.